Despite a moratorium in place on the death penalty in California, the man accused in last year's fatal Poway Synagogue shooting will now be tried for capital murder in state superior court. 21 year old John Ernest faces charges of murder, attempted murder, arson and numerous hate crime allegations. News 8's Richard Allen is live at the Hall of Justice with more on what led up to the decision to pursue the death penalty. Richard. And Carlo, in a 911 call played in court here just last September, John Ernest allegedly told the dispatcher that he committed the fatal shooting because, in his words, Jewish people were destroying the white race. Now that he faces the death penalty on the state level, Ernest's defense team will most likely move to postpone the trial, which at this point is set to begin in fewer than three months. The district attorney's office will be seeking the death penalty in this case. 20 year old John Ernest remained stoic throughout Thursday's hearing, even as the DA's office announced the prosecution will pursue capital punishment in last year's fatal shooting at Chabad of Poway on the final day of Passover. Ernest, a Rancho Penasquitos resident and former nursing student at Cal State San Marcos, stands accused of murder, attempted murder, arson, and a slew of hate crime allegations, including the killing of 60-year-old Lori Gilbert Kay. Three others were injured, including Rabbi Yisrael Goldstein, who lost a finger. I couldn't see his eyes. I couldn't see his soul. In court Thursday, Assistant District Attorney Leonard Trin said the decision to seek death involved a series of steps. Speaking with uh, the victims, um, considering all the evidence, uh, all the people that were impacted by this crime, and then ultimately the district attorney made the decision to seek the death penalty. Ernest's defense attorney said that in light of this case now transitioning to capital murder, the timeline for trial initially set for June 2nd will most likely be extended. At this point, just keep the trial date, but we'll be anticipating we'll be asking for a new date at that time. And we're going to try to uh, to not delay this unnecessarily. Trin added, with the death penalty now on the table, the jury trial will have two phases. First, to determine Ernest's guilt or innocence. If the jury finds Mr. Ernest guilty of the murder of Lori Kay and the special circumstance that's attached to that murder, then we move to the penalty phase. And attorneys in this case from both sides will return to court April 17th to discuss a possible new timeline for a trial. In the meantime, prosecutors on the federal level are still determining whether or not to pursue the death penalty in their case. Carlo. Thank you, Richard.